previously on The Walking Dead. I know who you are. I got another good one for you. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when- You got it, boss. <laughs> Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. With or without you, I'm protecting my kid with my life. <laughs> Oh my god. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Well, uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was gonna take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. You'll have to ask Lily. She's the one handling the rations. Or mishandling it, if you ask Kenny. He's just worried about his kid getting enough. I worry about Clementine, too. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor end. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Maybe he'll be better off without us. But we'll have three fewer mouths to feed. And one fewer gun hand. One way or the other, it's a bad situation. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Larry's just... looking out for his daughter. Hey, I know Lily. She can take care of herself. He needs to take that energy and put it towards finding us some more food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Take the shot. We need anything we can get at this point. Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on! Teacher, we'll leave, I swear! Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off! 
Get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me! Travis! Maybe they can help! These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that! What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? It's okay. We're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Lee, this is fucked up. We've gotta help you. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. We gotta get him out of there. Oh, God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Hurry, please, hurry. Lee, this trap's been altered. There's no release latch. Oh, no. Shit, walkers! It's now or never, Lee. Please, get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. There's so much blood. Really bad. Get me out, please! Come on, do something! We're gonna be surrounded any minute! Please! Why is it? Oh god, I'm trying to cut the chain! to cut you out. No, no, no! Try the trap again! Anything, please! Let's go, let's go! Lee, it has to be now! Damn it, Lee, just cut off his fucking leg! We don't have time. Who got shit? Is he? He passed out. If he's alive, grab him and let's go. Behind you! Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move! The gate's open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh on! Oh my god! What happened? Oh, what the hell? What's, What's going on? Don't have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know! Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here! What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? What no, your mouth? I don't! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. We left the other one behind. Other one? Jesus, Lee. What if there are more of them? What if they followed you here? There wasn't anybody else, just us. How do you know he's not lying? Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? 
Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. Wait, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. Lily's right. This group needs someone to be a leader or we're all gonna fall apart. We can't keep fighting amongst ourselves. Great. Way to take sides, Lee. Look, they're here now. We can't change that. So, what do you want to do? They can stay until Katja finishes working on that guy. Then they have to go. I don't care what condition they're in. We just don't have enough food. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? Look, I can't do this right now. You understand what I'm dealing with? Please do me a favor. I need you to handle the rations today. That's all you're giving out? If we're gonna make what's left last the week, then this is all we can spare today. It's not gonna be enough for everyone, but just do what you think is right. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but please, this man has no leg. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Catch you later, Duck. Bye, Lee. Want something to eat? Have an apple, Carly. God, I used to eat an apple every morning with some granola and six almonds, and that wasn't enough even then. But you know what? Yes. Hey, Doc. How about a little food? Here. Yeah! Oh man, I'm so hungry! Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind.
Oh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Got room for me and Clem in there? Listen, I gotta look out for my family. I gotta know that whoever I take with me is gonna be looking out for Cat and Duck. Wait, I, I know that... Lee, you left Duck in danger twice. Well, the RV ain't even working yet, so there's no point in talking about it right now. We need you here. We have a better chance of surviving as a group. Our best chance of surviving is to get away from the mainland. My mind is made up. Hey, is my friend gonna make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. So who are you people? Our group's gonna want to know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when... when everything happened. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there, having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, I just hope Capture can save him. Here, eat something. Thanks, Lee. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Come on, Larry. Cut Lee some slack. He knows you're just out to protect Lily. He told me so. Just like he's trying to protect Clementine. He... Oh, I just need some food. Going this long without a proper meal make anybody cranky. Not such an easy job, is it? Never said it was. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee. Kenny, I know I ran out of food before- Hey, it was a tough choice. But you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. You might earn yourself a place on the RV after all. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah? Well, I don't see you working on that wall. Ken! Lee! Come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Kaja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Ugh! <sighs> 
You okay? Yeah, thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. God help us. It makes sense. In those first few days, it spread so fast. Car accidents, suicides, everything was making more of them. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God... Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off! Carly. You're outnumbered here. Just turn around and go back. Okay, that's fine. Uh, but, but you'd really be helping out a fellow survivor if, if you could part with some extra gas before we leave. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. Kenny keeps us motivated. He believes in hope and knows how important it is for us not to give that up. I can't fault him for that. Or maybe you just don't want to be in charge. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Just you. Well, I haven't told anyone. Clementine knows. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the senators? Somehow, I ended up getting locked in the Now is not the time. Well, I'm here whenever you want to talk. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, I really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? I am. You guys have any questions? You come to me. How many people you got over there anyway? Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. It's getting dangerous out there. Well. You guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for 
Well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always oh, putting this shit. Bandits? Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who oh, are they? Shh. Fuck you. Fuck you knew we were hungry. Really and you guys were keeping it up. There's only two of them. Yeah, and you know what? We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens, but let's just wait this out. I hope they move on. Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you! Fuck you! Jesus! Asshole. The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Here it is, St. John Family Dairy. <laughs> Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You'd never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Lily. She's tough as nails and keeps us focused on what it takes to survive. Lily was in the military, like me. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Hold on, I, I thought you said someone else was running things. Oh yeah, uh, I thought she was asking about survival tactics. Well, it don't matter. You're here now. We'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. We're awful hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she... We have a vet. But we could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. Alright, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Thank you. 
So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. Hmm, pointy. Glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? Yeah, if you need some extra people to protect the dairy, you can count on us. Well, hopefully it'll never come to that, but thanks. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. You know? Like us? I'm gonna get to know the place for a minute. Okay, well, we gotta secure the perimeter, so don't take too long. bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. What's that? Generator. <laughs> you guys come along with gas just in time. Hey, uh, don't mess with that, okay? The thing's a little tricky, and I don't want to spend half a day trying to fix it again. Could be useful if I can find some boards to cut. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. good, but I need some rope. Hey, uh, what are you fixing to do around the barn? Just trying to find more ways to help out. Well, I appreciate that. Tell you what, we'll find you something to do over there after we get back from securing the perimeter. Sounds good. Ha! 
Hi there, Lee. What can I do for you, sweetie? Can I help you with anything around the house? I think with Danny's help, I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. But feel free to check with Andy. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. Your family's done an amazing job of keeping this place up. Well, now aren't you sweet? Thank you, Lee. The boys and I have tried to adapt as best we can, but we still keep some of our old routines to help remind us of better times. What happened to the rest of your staff? Oh, we've had our share of tragedy here. Just like everyone else, I'm sure. Some of our staff took off to find their family as soon as they heard the news. The few that stuck around, well, we lost most of them the first night those things showed up here. It was oh, a tough night. Well, if anything comes up that I can help with, feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. No problem. chance to check out the barn area yet. I'll do that after helping Andy get the perimeter secured. The generator might be a problem. Andy said it's tricky and repairing it takes him a while. Still, it's a hell of a lot more secure than the motor in. I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. Hey, I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. Hi. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. Never know. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. He wouldn't be such a pain in the ass if you weren't telling him we were talking behind his back all the time. I... I'm, I'm sorry, all right? We'll work it out somehow. Well, hopefully he'll calm down once he's out here. There's one. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Disgusting. Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? A fortress needs people to defend it. We've got enough people. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. Never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. 
Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. Just try to focus on the task. They knew what they were doing, teasing us with food and then giving us chores. Uh, having a good meal will be worth it. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on! Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here! What the? Get to the gate! Get down! You assholes! Jesus! We had no reason! Now you're fucked! Who the fuck is that? No idea! Fuck! Now what? With the fence on, that gate is our only way out! the gate. We can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! Shit, that hurts. We had an agreement. Now you're fucked. Did you really think you'd fuck with us? the tractor. What happened? Shit. Give it's it one of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to move it. Damn ambush out there! Holy shit, are, are you okay? Bandits here? On our property? Oh my lord! What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah, I'll be alright once it's out. God damn it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark, oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just... Pull it out. Oh no, honey. Come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhand. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. What you do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. It was just a fluke thing. We can't stop assuming there aren't bad people out there. What the hell do you mean a fluke? It could have happened anywhere. Could have happened to us in the motor inn. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down. 
but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope you kids like swings. A swing! I love swings! Just like at my treehouse! Come on, Doc! Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah! Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. Looks like a feeding station for the cow. Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? He'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. So, he's the asshole. Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... he's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much, and lost pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. Don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, and we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out in our asses. Fellas. How you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So, are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Yeah, it'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Mm -hmm. 
see anything? Not yet. I know it's around here. It's gotta be close. Here. Oh shit, you found it? See anybody? Can't tell. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the ten. Too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Nothing. Empty. Nothing but fuels. Shit. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? This is too much stuff for just one person. Trust me, these selfish bastards don't stop taking. Probably just to remind us that it's theirs. Hmm. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. Tent looks pretty new. Anybody inside? Two sleeping bags. One of them's kid-sized. Looks like they expected to be here a while. Just water. Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these, recently. Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these, recently. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. What do you find? A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily? I thought you were running things back there. Yeah, but uh, uh, she's got the combat training.
girl? Don't fucking move. Shit! Put your guns down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Look, it's not safe up here in the woods. You gotta come back to the Derrick. <laughs> oh, it's a hell of a lot safer up here than down there, you best believe. Now, maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down! You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice sharp arrow right through your eyeball and into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Screw this. Y'all wave them guns like you're looking to die. <laughs> Shit! What the hell'd you do that for? We had a deal with them. You heard her? She was too far gone! She was a fucking freak show, but you didn't have to kill her. I mean, I know she was crazy, but damn! <sighs> it's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. a hell of a ride, huh? What? You were a madman back there. Took that crazy bitch down. You're back! What happened? Lee took care of it. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Oh, calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling, looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? They have different ideas about how we should run our group. If they don't find any common ground, this whole thing's gonna fall apart. No, it's just tough times. Everyone's hungry and people get a little stir-crazy when their tummy's empty. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. I think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. Thank you. 
It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. Whoa. Katya says Mabel could have her baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? I don't know. Hey there, Andy. Yeah? Um, when do you think, uh, we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. Thanks. Yep. Stay close to your mom for now. Okay. Empty. found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? You're being stupid, Kenny. Stupid? Stupid? Nice one, Lee. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. What's your genius idea, Professor? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Hey, Lee. You know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? Well, you're... you know... urban? Oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Hmm. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? What's behind this door, Andy? Just tools. We keep it locked so the people in the woods don't try and grab them. We'd be dead without him. Hey, uh, do me a favor. D don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, Mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Looks like a bunch of old, dirty clothes. Ooh, smells pretty foul. It's a feeding trough.
just some fence posts. Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it! You said you would! Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee. Do you think you'll ever have kids? I don't think so, Clem. Not the way the world is now. I just... Uh, I don't think I could do that. Oh. Maybe when the world gets better, then. Maybe. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. So, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, I manage just fine. Plus, I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. Finish talking later. You been getting along with Larry? <laughs> he just a big old sweetheart, ain't he? Uh, don't know if I would have used those words exactly. Don't judge, honey. This world is bringing out the worst in people. But if you really look, you'll catch a glimpse of humanity every now and then. Think I'll go have a look around. Kinda peaceful out here, ain't it? Enjoy it while you can. You'll probably start hearing those monsters frying against the fence before too long. I'm just gonna borrow this for a second. I'm gonna need a screwdriver for this. There you go. <clears throat> that thing is on too tight for my bare hands. There, that should do it. Through a belt. Damn it, all. Ah, oh, son of a fuck. Oh, this take forever. Something I think could help with the lock. Nothing to stop you now. Mom, Dad, dinner time! It's dinner time! Okay, honey, let's get that. Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! 
Kenny, come along, honey. Kenny, come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Get that thing off. Dinner time. Why was there so much blood in there? Look, we have food here, but Danny and I still gotta do a lot of hunting to keep everyone fed. When we catch something in the woods, we skin it and dress it back there. Mama doesn't like us to make a mess in the house. So you see, nothing to worry about. Oh, <laughs> Brenda, Biscuit? you are wow. an angel. Oh, Excuse me, mess. We had to block the back door after a walker got upstairs. Don't worry. That was a while ago, and I ain't been back inside since. Everybody sit down. I'll go get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. I could eat a horse. Where's Mark? Now, don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. up here resting. What do they need so much morphine for? Musty as hell. I guess someone needed some first aid recently.
Lovely. It's all people in here. Sit down. Your supper's getting cold. Lee, Jesus, man. Did you find something? Oh, sit your ass down, Lee. This lady has made you a meal. Yeah, Lee. What's gotten into you? He just had a start. He could use some goddamn manners. Mark is upstairs with his fucking legs cut off. You're eating him. That's what crazy. The hell? You're scaring the kids, Lee. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? Don't indulge him, Lily. It's always something with this guy. Mom, I was eating that. We need to get the kids and everyone out of here. We need to go now. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We gotta think about living. Settle down, honey. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boys. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. Just let us go. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways, one way or another. Like y'all. Kenny, get your gun! Kenny, no! Nobody's going anywhere! We got lots of use for y'all right here. What the fuck? The fucking black Put your fuck? guns down! We're walking you out of here! Near my Mommy, fucking family! I don't want to die. Mommy, what did I eat? Somebody do something! Lee? Lee? Let go of her, you son of a bitch! in time. Come on, Dad. Now's not the time. Is there a way out? Yeah! Through this fucking door! If they so much as touch my family, I'll kill those sons of bitches! They locked us in here. I think it's a meat locker. Those psychos have caught you in duck! Open up! You sons of bitches! Dad, please stop! This goddamn film sucker was the one who brought us here! Will you all just shut the fuck up? I'm scared. Don't be. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. You're, you're worse than the walker! Dad, please! Could there be a hole behind these pallets? No such luck. Please settle down! I'll, I'll rip your goddamn heads off and make you swallow them! Uh, I don't want to know what kind. Come on! Try yourself! Dad! They got caught you and Duck, Lee. Those fuckers have my family. I know. We're gonna get out of here and find them. There's Marlis on the way. Let Your dad's not making things any easier for us. Open the fucking Dad, door! Dad, stop! God damn it! They're not gonna open the door! You, you think a fucking <sighs> apocalypse gives you the right... I'll, I'll break that damn door down! Dad, you can't get... Uh, uh, <sighs> easy! <sighs> God, he stopped breathing. I think he's had a heart attack. Shit. Is he dead? He's not dead! Somebody help me! Fuck. If he's dead... He's not dead! It has to happen, Lee. Think about it. 
You saw that poor bastard at the motel? How fast he turned? What are you saying? Lily, I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. But in a few minutes, we're going to be stuck in a locked room with a six foot four, 300 pound, seriously pissed off dead guy. Fuck you! We can bring him back! Lee! We'll mourn him later. But right now, we have to keep him from coming back. No! God damn it, Kenny! He is not dead! We can't kill him if he's not dead, Kenny. Remember how hard it was for you to get that monster off of Katya? And Larry's twice his size. It's him or us. Kenny, listen! Don't think I forgot about what you said at the drugstore. When you all thought Duck was bitten. Well, I'm just doing the same thing. Except Duck wasn't bitten. And we know this guy's not gonna make it. Remember what Ben said. Gotta destroy the brain. I know we don't see eye to eye on a lot of things, but come on, Lee! You've gotta step up for me this time. I need to know you're with me on this! God damn it, Lee! I need you! Please help me! Come on, Dad. Come on. Wake up. You're right, Kenny. Let's get you this over. You fucking with. monsters! Both of you! I don't want to see! I'm sorry, Lily. No, no, no! It's the only way. <laughs> get off me! Don't do this! No! No, no, no! Let go of me! No! Please! God help us. I'm sorry. I Don't know. you fucking touch me! Clementine. Clem. You okay? Why, Lee? Lily said he wasn't dead. He, he was dead, Clementine. But what if he wasn't? He was, I, I promise. Shh. I know. I know. But you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else. Something hopeful. Like what? Someplace safe where no monsters can get you. We're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? I'm working on it. Lily, I'm, I'm sorry. Don't talk to me, Lee. Don't fucking talk to me. You've got to pull yourself together, Lily. Why? For your sake? So you can feel better about... about what you did? For your own sake. Right. Because you fucking care so much about me. Get away. I just need to... I told you to get the fuck away! There ought to be an air duct behind this unit. Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. I don't know, Lee. Seems like a long shot. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off if I had something to remove the screws. The multi-tool. Of course they took it. Shit. Maybe there's something else we could use. I've got a rock. Ah, a rock won't help. But a coin might do the trick. Do you have a coin? Uh-uh. It's not coming off that way. Why can't you just leave me alone? I'm sorry, Lily. But if we're gonna get out of here, we need your help. And Larry's. I think I may have found a way out of here. But I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver or a coin or something... No. What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for it, but uh, back at the motor inn, Larry... Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. In other words, my father's more useful to you dead than alive. If he was alive and had the key to getting us out of here, do you think he'd keep it to himself? 
What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Your permission. <sighs> do what you have to do. Oh, boy. Uh, any idea which pocket he keeps us changing? You fucking vulture! Yeah, one more should do it. Well, there's our way out, Lee. We don't know where it leads. Looks like it'll probably lead right into that back room. I, I can find out. I know you're brave enough. I'm scared. Remember the treehouse? You held out for days. And I saved your life. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <sighs> okay. You're gonna be fine. What do I do when I get out? See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it. Lee. Didn't even get to say goodbye. Get in here. I got an idea. Stay here. Take care of Lily, okay? I will. people. Jesus, this is where they put your people. Sick bastards. All of them. So what's the plan? That dumbass is so caught up in his own rant that we could probably sneak right up on him. Just stick behind me in case anything goes down. When we get to the front, grab his gun. Sounds good. Okay, you ready? Yeah, let's go. Stay close. Outside the barn. Oh shit! Just guarding the place, like you said. Sitting out in the rain like a What's he doing out there? I'm I don't know. Can't know. That many folks alive and not what should we do? Like one to you have a weapon? Yeah, good. 
Keep it simple. As soon as he passes us, we'll jump in from out of here. See what he's doing now. Pray. Oh, I know, Mabel. This is my favorite part, too. When I let one think they can just walk right out. <laughs> is that the sign? Not coming in the house. See where he is now. tried to warn me and I killed her! That bitch never got it! She almost fucked up our best deal! You gotta keep me alive! If you kill me, the meat gets tainted! You can't eat it! You're already tainted! Do it then! He's dead. They chopped off Mark's legs and tried to feed him to us. Shit. Is everyone else okay? They've still got Doc and Katja in the house. And I don't know where the fuck Kenny is. All right. We're coming in to help. The main gate is too dangerous. Go around the fence and see if there's a back way in. I'll keep looking for Kenny. Do you have a weapon? I don't leave home without it. Ben, stick close. And Lee, be careful. Come on now, you know you don't want to do this. 
Hey, Lee. I'd say I'm sorry for leaving the motel unattended, but, you know. I'm glad you showed up when you did. If you hadn't taken that shot at Andy, we might not have gotten out of there. Were they really killing people? For food? Yeah, they were. That is sick. God, just... Ugh. Clementine, she doesn't know, right? She's not stupid, Carly. Katya managed to grab this while she was in the house. She said it was with your stuff. Yeah. I found it while I was looking for the people who shot Mark. Do you want it? Why don't you keep it? Sometimes it helps to have something you can document your thoughts on. <clears throat> How are you doing? I'll be fine. I'm just not as young as I used to be. Hon, go on ahead and give me and Lee a second. There's gonna be fallout. For killing Lily's dad? Yeah, I would imagine so. What do you think? I'm with you, Kenny. We'll do what has to be done. You're damn right. Listen, that RV back at the motor inn is just about ready. I've changed my mind. I want you to come with us when we leave. Yeah? Hell yeah. We're a team, man. Me and you. By taking out Larry before he turned, you saved all of us in that meat locker. And that saved my family, too. Yeah. I'd say you earned it. Come on, Clementine. Stay close. Lee, did you have to kill those men? Yes, they were bad men, Clementine. They killed Mark and they were gonna kill all of us. They had to be stopped. Understand? Yes, I think so. Hey, Dad, what's that noise? Sounds like a car. Oh, God, not more strangers. Come out or I'll shoot! Figures. Oh, crap! Baby, you gotta see this. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. This food could save all of us. Not all of us. <sighs> Look, we don't know if these people are dead. If they come back, then we're just monsters who came out of the woods and ruined their lives. This stuff isn't ours. Dad, whose car is it? Don't worry about that, Duck. It's ours now. It's abandoned, Ducky. Don't worry. What if it's not? What if it's not abandoned? What if it is someone's? We have to take this, Clementine. We need it to survive. Who says it's your decision to make? Hey, we don't have time for this shit. Like it or not, we need this food. Now get over here and open the trunk, Lee. Supplies? I'll take it. Great. Maybe we'll survive this after all. Duck, why don't you carry this? Okay. More food in here.
Got a box of food here. I'll carry it. This hoodie looks to be about your size. Why don't you hold on to this? It might get cold. It's not mine. Well, think of it like you're holding on to it. You can give it back if we ever meet up with him, okay? Okay. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. I thought they might work in your camcorder. Here, you can have some too. For your walkie-talkie. Batteries, huh? Think you can handle those? You're not gonna let me live that down, are you? Oh, God. Lee, you're gonna wanna see this. Oh, shit. Sweetheart, we won't let them bandits get you, will we? No. Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I'll find it, I'll thinking you're safe. You go. Sitting there acting like things are the way they used to be. The dead don't kill their own. It's the living you got to be afraid of. The people I used to call friends. People who took... Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. I promise. Bacon is done, pal. Ain't nothing left. We gotta get the hell out of here. Lee, I need you to back me up on this. Is this all you got? I told you this town is tapped. Do you have any idea what we had to do to get all that? We need to leave. Duck was asking about the farm last night. Not much phases at all, but it's starting to add up. I need to get to the coast. Get him out of all this madness. <laughs> Lily's not doing so good, huh? Well, we killed her dad. We did kill her dad. Maybe people out there got things lined up better. Better than us, at least. Could be folks who have all this shit figured out. Do people get mad when they're scared? Sometimes, yeah, they do. This is crazy! I'm the one keeping this group going! We can sort this all out, all right? We can sort this out. I'll tell you what we need to sort out. We can't let one person fuck this up for everyone else! <laughs> 